Hello guys, welcome to another video of Simulink tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how to add signal viewer to your model and modif how to modify its parameter. So let's start with a simple design of model. So Simulink library, new model. So for this design, we'll need a sign signal. Right click on sine wave block, add to untitled, then the sample and hold block. So, sample and hold block from DSP toolbox, right click, add to untitled, then a repeating sequence stair, type stair in the search box, right click. Add to untitled and one out block. So right click untitled. So let's make the connections. So the output of the sample and hold block is given to the out block. The sampling signal will be given from repeating sequence pairs and the input to the sample and hold block is the sine wave. So modify the block parameters. Repeating sequence pair, double click on that block and we want to give the sequence as 1 and 0 apply ok sine wave signal so amplitude keep its amplitude as 5 so the sine signal will vary from minus 5 to plus 5 then the sample and hold block the trigger type, you can keep the trigger type as rising edge or falling edge or either edge. I am keeping it as rising edge so that when the repeating sequence stir signal, uh, when it transition from 0 to 1, at that time the, uh, uh, the output of the sine wave block that is the input to the sample and hold block the value of that signal at that transition will be held and it will shown in the output so keeping the trigger type as rising edge apply ok and to see all this signal on a viewer we are going to need a scope so there are two ways so the first method is right click on the signal that you want to see on the scope so right click and here you can see create and connect viewer in that you have to select simulink and there you can see the scope option select that option so after clicking the scope option you can see here a small symbol of scope that is a viewer that can be seen here so now modify the parameters of this scope so on this small window you can see a parameter tab click on that tab and here you can see number of access so since we have to observe three signals so keep the number of access as three apply okay so the first axis is the output signal that is the sample and hold output now how to add the other two signals so right click on the signal 
and instead of going to create and connect viewer option this time we are selecting the option connect to viewer and here select the scope option and in that since the output is already connected to the first axis we are going to connect the 1 and 0 sequence to the axis 2 so select axis 2 and similarly click on the right click on the sine wave signal and connect to viewer scope and axis 3 so we can see on this three signals the scope figure is added so let's run the model and click on the scope figure maximize the window so here you can see in this window there are too many options so this is the one that is auto scale then on the right side of the auto scale save the current axis settings and on the right side of that option restore save axis setting so click on auto scale and you can see the auto scale output and if you click the save current axis settings the current axis settings will be saved and if you restore the save access settings the access settings will be stored so there is one more thing you can modify the properties of each access to do that right click on the access that you want to modify right click access properties let's make it minus 6 to plus 6 apply ok again right click on the second axis axis properties and give it as minus 1 2 plus 2 apply ok in this way you can modify the properties of axis that you want to modify and you can save the current access settings by save current access setting option so another way of adding scope to your model is to add scope block from the simulink library to your model so type scope in the search box right click add to untitled and the block is added to the model so to modify the parameters of this scope block double click on the scope block same options are here also so parameters number of axis 3 apply ok so you can see you can connect 3 signals to this code block so first is output second is sampling signal and the third is the sine wave signal run the model double click on this code block maximize the window auto scale and you can see the scale output so in this way you can see different signals in your model on the scope so thank you guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up thank you